Hello, hello. Can you hear me, Wilfredo? Yeah, 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 Ricardo. Yeah. Nice to meet Welcome. you. How are you? Why are you? Okay, I'm here. Yeah, yeah I'm here. Uh, yeah, I, I had some technical <laughs> issues, but I'm back. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, Wilfredo, you were uh, expressing yourself. How was your day going? Uh, I, I comment. Uh, I have a some meeting via Zoom. Okay. A Zoom and meeting. In the yeah. afternoon, uh, I went to play basketball. Oh, that's why you're wearing your shirt, right, today? Yeah, uh, I okay. um, right now I, I work in uh, at home office. Ooh, WFH. All, day. All right, me too. Good. <laughs> yes, and now it's not good. <laughs> All right, that's nice. Very good. Thank you. Thank hey, you. what about you, Hermes? I cannot hear you. Hi, teacher. Hello, student. How are you? Uh, um, I'm teleworker, too. Okay. But uh, this day I feel, I feel very tired. Ah, okay. I thought you said you feel like magic, no? There are many activities. Okay. For complete task. Um, okay. With a lot of work. No. Uh, a little stress. A little stress. A little but you were yeah, here, and I'm so yeah. happy to see you. Every time that I that I know that for each of you are really hard because you have your own jobs, right? That requirement that requires like um, a lot of um, I don't know focus. Maybe they are really stressed jobs, right? Or oh, depends of your uh, positions at your job. Uh, you have to do a lot of things, right? You have to be responsible for many things. And basically, you are not only physical, but you're mentally tired as well. But uh, the, um, the possibility that I can see you every night and that you show in class, it makes me feel happy because you show your commitment and the willing to learn. And I'm so happy here. I know that, that our efforts it worth it, right? Very good. I, I know when sometimes there are those things that value and you need to do like an extra effort, but at the end you said, oh my God, all the hours that I didn't sleep, all the headache that I have, all the starving that I was, you know what starving is, right? Starving, like we are hungry, where you're no angry, hungry, like I want a hamburger, yes? I want a pizza. Yeah. Yeah, I want to eat something because if I don't eat, I'm going to die. No, okay? That is that is a starving when you would like to eat desperately because you need food, okay? So maybe you have passed to that, but you're here and that was worth it, okay? At the end, you're going to speak English. Well, you speak English already. And tell me something. Can you please make like a recap when you start uh, learning English the first class? It could be here with us, or it could be in another place, I don't know. Um, but maybe in the first time you said, oh my God, how am I going to say hola, como estas? How can I say that? And now think about you right now, in this moment, in this year, in this time, in this day. Do you, do you think that you have improved your English skills? What do you think, guys? Do you have improved it? You know what I'm asking for you right now? Do you know what I'm asking you? Yeah. 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 Compare okay. your, yourself at the beginning when you start learning English and right now. Do you think that you have a better English? What do you think? Volunteer? No, please come on. I know. I know everybody, everybody wants to participate. I know. But hold your horses, babies. Hold your horses. Okay. Who wants to speak? Okay. Thank you so much, Ricardo. Go ahead. I cannot hear you. Your microphone. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Okay. How do you feel today? Yeah. Oh, okay. I I lost the your your instruction. My instructions. Uh, okay. Can you, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, can you repeat? Absolutely. Yeah, I will be more than okay. glad to. Okay, Ricardo. I like to hear you. 
For example, do you remember the first time that you were uh, starting learning English? Do you remember the first class? Yeah, Maybe it yeah. was not with me, it was with somebody else. But if okay. you compare yourself and your English skills for the first time and by now, do you think that you have a better English now? Yeah, yes, I think it's, uh, it's better. It's better and I learn, and I, in my case, mm -hmm. I learn a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of English. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's uh, a big, it's a big difference, bigger difference yeah. when I started uh, to study English and, and right now. Oh, that's uh, nice. So okay. how do you feel about yourself? Do you feel happy with you? Are you happy uh, with yourself? Well, uh, well uh, Every every day when I I take my English class, I'm happy. I'm happy when enthusiastic and how do you say enthusiasm? Enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Every day I am enthusiastic with yes. my English class. Very good. And you know what? You mentioned something really important because part of the improvement, it will be 50% the teacher, no, 20% the teacher and 80% the student. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes. it is. 80% the, the student. And also you mentioned something important. You said that you're enthusiastic. That means the attitude that you have. Attitude. The attitude. attitude. Uh, uh, yeah. Every time positive. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That will help you a lot. That helps a lot. The positive attitude. Okay. okay. So that's yes. good. Some Somebody said, okay, I'm too old to learn new language. Or I'm too young. Or I'm not good at languages. Oh my goodness. Of course, everybody has their own skills, right? For example, you are yeah. good on, on, on accounting, for example. Marlon are good in like a IT problems, right? Maybe Erica is good on um, science, for example, right? Each of you have your own skills. And maybe some of you have to put like an extra effort, right? Because maybe okay. you, it's really hard for you to learn new languages. But if you put an extra effort, that helps you a lot, a lot. Yeah, and I'm so happy to hear that, Ricardo. Very good, excellent. And it sounds like, yeah, Basically, now you feel more confident, right? Maybe I don't know a lot of words, but I know how to express myself. And okay. Very good. Excellent. What about you, um, uh, Hermes? What do you think? Again, teacher? Yes, again, student. <laughs> uh, it's raining. Um, it's raining. That's the most old excuse I ever heard in my entire life. Come on. Uh, I think that maybe I, I I have a problem with hear you because the raining is very it's very hard. Noisy. It's very noisy. Noisy. Oh. noisy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I will leave you alone for a minute, okay? But I'll be right back with you. <laughs> That's okay, Hermes. All righty. What about you, Flori? What do you think? Hello, Flori. How are you? Fine. You? Yeah, very good. I can hardly hear you, but I will try to do my my best. Go ahead. How do you feel about your English right now? I feel happy because my first class. I don't understand when the teacher speaks all the English. Mm -hmm. But right now, I. Okay. And more vocabulary, and I understand when it's playing with the teacher. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. So you see, you have improved, right? Yes. Maybe you still a long way to learn. Yes, of course, you're going to still learning. Definitely. Yes. Yes. But that is part of the process. But now you, f you feel more confident, and you express yourself much better. Yes. Very good job. Excellent. Hopefully we can continue together. Thank you. Or you're going to be with somebody else. 
but you will still learning a lot, okay? The last but not least, Carlitos Pineda, how are you? Hi, Carlitos. Hi, how are you? I cannot hear you. Here, just the microphone. Hi, Hi Carlitos, you. that's okay. How are you, sir? Good Very night. Good. Okay, how do you feel today? Uh, yes, very good. Very good. You look tired. Yes. Yes, but you're here, and I'm so happy to see you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, guys, very good. Thank you so much for sharing your opinion with us. And the last I want to hear is today is Ed Nielsen. How are you, Ed Nielsen? How are you, teacher? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. Tell me, how do you feel about your English? Do you think you have improved? Yes, I learned English more the fluency. Right, very good. More the confidence. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Do you more feel happy the about that? Mm -hmm. More. Um, confidence and more. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. Very good. And I'm so happy to mm. hear that. And you will continue learning, okay? okay. I promise that. Okay. All righty. Do you want to say something? Thank you, Ed Milson. You want to say something, Mr. Adelai? No, teacher. Just, just uh, say about if you you learn just a one word one new word in one day is is something for your language right because it could be just one word but it expands your your vocabulary mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. definitely that is that is really true yeah. and today guys we will learn a lot as well do you remember uh what was the topic for yesterday's class some sickness about uh, sick exactly it basically was about um common health complaints right okay for example do you remember what's this a headache a headache a headache a headache, a headache. A headache. A headache. very good a headache. what about this flu the flu the uh flu -uh. uh -uh. Cold. Cold. cold, very good. What cold. about this? Cold. Fever. Fever, like, uh -huh, but uh, the, the flu. flu. Very cough. good. What about this? Cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. Very good. Cough. Exactly. Uh, what about this? Sore muscle. Sore muscle. Sore muscle. Sore muscle. Sore muscle. What about this? Ouch. Ouch. Uh-huh. Uh what about this? Backache. 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 Mm -hmm. What about this? Insomnia. 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 You see, I'm a good mimic. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. And do you remember by any chance? Uh, okay. When you are like, <clears throat> and you cannot Earth. swallow. What is that? Mm, sure. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Very throat. good. Excellent. All right. Do you remember about some medication vocabulary that we saw yesterday? For example, if I have a, <coughs> a cough, mm -hmm, what are the, the medication for that? Syrup? Good. What else? Let's see me. The pills. Drops. Drops. Cough. <laughs> Cough? Cough what? Cough drops. Cough drops. Very drops. good, Linda. All righty. Okay, if I have a cold, <laughs> what is this? Nasal uh, spray. Nasal spray. spray. Very good. All right. If my eyes are irritated, what are these? Eye drops. Uh -huh. Eye drops. Ah, very good. If I have a headache, what should I take? Aspirin. 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 If I have a stomach cage, do you remember that? If I have a stomach cage? Antiacid. Antiacid. Very good. If I have a sore muscle, ow. Hmm? Muscle 
Uh -huh. Who said that? Muscle scream. Muscle scream. Very good, Luis. Excellent. Great job, guys. Oh, my God. That's why I love you, because you're really smart. All right. And you are a really good student. Today, guys, we will continue learning th things related to health. But today, we're going to learn how we can ask, for example, what medication you should take if you have, for example, cold, and how you can give advice, okay? So we're going to learn how to ask and how to give advice. That's what we're going to learn today. Isn't it amazing? Yes, right? And, and my two gymnastics are not here. Hey, Maria or oh, Xiaomi, Linda. Are you laughing, Linda? <laughs> yes, teacher. Because the teacher is a little bit crazy, right? Yes, I know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get used to it, man. Yeah. I and like I'm, it. I like. Thank you. And I'm not crazy. I, I'm crazier than that. <laughs> but in a good way, okay? So don't worry. Wilfred is like, oh, my God. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so guys, we're going to learn how to ask and to give advice. But do you remember what is exactly the topic that we're going to learn today? For giving Some and advice. asking advices? Yeah, for giving and ask advice. What is exactly what we're going to learn today? Uh-huh. Any ideas by any chance? No? Don't tell me that you forget. No way. Some, some advice for, uh -huh. for the, for the, mm -hmm. the, the, I don't remember. Oh, don't. No way. All right. Uh-huh. We're going to learn, guys, something that it calls infinitive compliments. The infinitive compliments, guys, is the, is a part of the grammar that we use to ask and to give advice. For example, if I ask you a question, hey, uh, Erica, what should I take if I have a cold? Or what should I take for a cold? That's the question. That's the question that we're going to use today, okay? There are another way to, to ask for the same thing, guys, but this is the question that I want you to learn today, how you can ask for medication and what we're going to use this this uh, question today what should I take for a cold I'm going to write it right now on the um, chat okay so bear with me oh my god I need to change this uh, uh, keyboard into Spanish right now yeah because it works better what should, okay. what should I take for a cold what should I take Remember, should is a, is a model verb, okay? It's for asking for suggestions, okay? Should is a model verb that we use to ask for suggestions. For example, what should I take for a cold? What should I take for a headache? What should I take for a backache? What should I take for insomnia? Okay, you're asking for opinions. You're asking for advice, okay? Very good. Okay, let's practice right now. And then we're going to see how we can answer that question. But for example, guys, you all of you have a cold, right? Tana tenido ya resfriado, right? You already have a cold. Okay, so if I ask you guys, what should I take for a cold? What will be your answer with Fred? Give me an advice. You can express yourself like the way you want, okay? We're going to learn how to say it later on, but give me an advice. What should I take for a cold? Uh, you should uh, protect the rain. Okay, no, what should I take? Take, tomar. Oh, okay. What should I take? Okay. Um, uh, you, you, you should take a uh, syrup. Okay, very good. Thank you. That, that's a good one. Okay. What about you, Erika? Any advice for me? I have a cold. Okay. You have a cold and you have a nasal... 
spray. 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 Very good, Ricardo. Thank you. Very good, Erica. Another advice, Ricardo? Oh, you should uh, you should to visit the doctor. You should be to you should visit the doctor. Okay, very good. Abigail, another advice for me? I have a cold. <laughs> You should, you should, uh, injection. No, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I know, I don't like it. Well, you know what? Every, every time of my life, I have been shot, shot. It's not injection. That is a shot. When you shot. get it, it's a shot. Ouch, and that hurts. It could be here or it could be your butt, right? Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to do. <laughs> okay, but that is a remedy. Thank you, Abigail. I'm not going to take your remedy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cesar? What do you think? I have a cold. Tengo un resfriado. What should I do? ¿Qué debo hacer? Cesar? Sorry, teacher. That's okay. You should um, drink uh, mm -hmm. lemon. Very good. Okay. I should drink lemon. Oh, I should take vitamin C, uh. right? Vitamin C. Very good. Any other advice, um, Luis? Hello, Luis. How are you? Uh, Very good. I feel. Yeah. I, oh, I, I drink. drink you, right? Water. Ah, you should drink water. Very good. Excellent. Another um, another advice, Gracia? I, I don't know advice about what, sorry. You, uh, about cold, resfriado. Mm. No? Maybe you should bring a tea. Okay, maybe I should drink a tea. Excellent, very good. Okay, guys, excellent. Yeah, there's another way, guys, to give advice besides using should, okay? So today, we're going to learn another expressions that we can use when somebody asks you for advice if so, it feels bad. For example, if somebody has a headache, a stomach ache, a um, sore muscle, a sore throat problem, whatever kind of health problem it is, there's another way to provide advice besides using should, okay? You, today you use should, very good job. But we're going to learn another way to express ourselves, okay? Is that clear? Good? Yes, let's move on. Clear. Yeah, clear like water, all right. Excellent job. So allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen with you guys. And I want you to let me know as soon as you are able to see it. All righty. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. This is what we have learned so far. Okay. Common health problems. Let's let's practice that the pronunciation once again. A headache. A backache. Backache. Sore muscle. Stomachache. Stomachache. A cold. A cold. A cough. A cough. The flu. The flu. Insomnia. Insomnia. Very good. Okay, and this is the medication that we have seen so far. Okay, very good, guys. So today we're going to talk about infinitive complements okay Compl yeah infinitive complements repeat after me infinitive complements infinitive infinitive ah, no 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 the come on with energy infinitive complements infinitive infinitive compliments. Compliments. Yeah, that's the that's the students that i love okay so for what purpose we use infinitive complements to ask yes. and to give advice Give advice. No, no, advice. 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 Consejo, advice. Give advice. Advice. Advice, exactly, Ricardo. Advice. And what will be the formula? Advice. Okay, remember that we use the infinity, right, guys? The infinity. infinity. And the infinity, how we construct the infinity, guys? 
How we constructed? Take a look. We constructed with two plus the main verb, okay? We do not conjugate, remember? That is how we construct infinitive, okay? Exactly, very good with the present tense. All righty. Tell me, guys, for what do we use infinitive? To ask and to give advice, all right? Very good, so let's continue. There you go. Okay, guys, there you go. For example, if I said, what should I take for a, for a call, right? The example that I mentioned to you right now. Okay, I have, guys, three possible answers or suggestions. What is the first one? What do you think? Doctor. Doctor. What is the second Doctor. image? Glass. Water. Water. Uh, glass yeah. water. Glass of water. A glass of water. Very good. And the last one, guys? Pills. Uh, pills. pills. What kind Cups. of pills? Cough drops. Exactly. Uh, Very good. Cough drops. Exactly. Cough drops. So, so how am I going to use doctor, glass of water, and cough drops to construct a sentence? And that sentence will help me to give advice to a person when they ask me about a suggestion or what they should take for a specific common health problem. Okay, let me help you right now. You see, I can say it is helpful to go to the doctor. You see, it's helpful. Ayuda, it is helpful. Ayuda. It is helpful to go to the doctor. But can you check it out, guys? This one, to go. Why do I put it in different color? What do you think? Why do I put it in different infinitive. color? Exactly, because it's the infinitive. Remember? That it was with two plus the verb. Uh, exactly. Uh, to. Exactly. To go. Okay. To walk, to drink, etc. And take a look at, at this expression really quickly. Take a look at this expression, guys. It is helpful. Ayuda. It is helpful. In vez de decir you should, usted puede decir it is helpful. See? It's a sort of expression. And then you use the infinitive to go to the doctor. Repeat after me. It is helpful. It is helpful. It is helpful to. It is helpful to go. It is helpful. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Okay. One more time. It is helpful to go. It is helpful to go. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is, it is, it is helpful to go to the doctor. To go Very good. To go doctor. Exactly. All, right now, guys, we're going to pronounce it in one way. De una sola. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is, it is helpful to go to the doctor. To the doctor. Go to the go doctor. No, 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 no. Again, it is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Again, Ricardo, it is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Yay! Fantastic! Very good. Give me all five, man. Excellent. All right. There's another suggestion you can see, and there's the second image. There you go. You see? Water. Hey, guys, take a look. Where is the infinitive in this sentence? Where is the infinitive? To drink. To drink. To drink. To Very drink. good. Remember the infinitive two plus the for, uh, present tense plus of the verb. verb. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And you see, guys, this is really important. Let me take. A, let me uh, erase this color because we're going to use exactly the same color. Okay, just to identify it. Very good. Okay, so to drink is the infinitive. Hey, but can you take a look at the other expression that we learn? It is important, you see? It is helpful, it is important. Okay, it so let's, important. in another way, it's important. It is important to drink, beber mucha agua. All right, so repeat after me. It is important. It is, it is important. important. It is important too. 
It is important to drink. It is important to drink. It is important to drink lots. It is important to drink lots. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important to drink lots of water. Again, again. <laughs> it is important to drink. It is important to drink. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important to drink lots of water. 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 Uh -huh. Very good. Lotto is a parrot. No, it's not. No, it's not that. It's, it's not a bird. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, you see here, guys, when we pronounce this, we join it. La unimos. Yeah? Lotos. Repeat after me. Lot of. Lot of. Lot of. It's like this. Let me write it right now really quickly. It's like, it's like this. Lot of. You see, it's exactly of, like that. Lot of, of water. Okay. Lot of. Lot of water, exactly. But let me help you pronounce this thing, guys. This is really important that you learn how to pronounce it correctly. Take a look at this. This one. This one. How you pronounce this word? How you pronounce it, guys? Of. Uh huh. Lot how of. you pronounce it? Only that word. Oh. How you pronounce oh. this word? Oh. Of. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh. No, uh, oh. right? No? No? Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to uh, teach you something really quickly. We have these two words. And we have this one, the one that we're using. Is that right? Okay. Okay, guys, take a look at the pronunciation. Bear with me. Let me use this. Okay. No, let me use it something different. There you go. Okay, yeah, guys, we use, let me put a different color here. Let me check if I can switch here. There you go. Oh, I'm switching this. Okay, so guys. I can see, first, I can see the words. You cannot see it? Or you no. can't see it? Yeah, I can't, I can't see it. Too. Oh, you can't? I think so. Ah, bear with me. What about this? What about now? It's borroso. Is it, is it not clear? Yes, it's not, not clear. clear. Not clear. It's All right. Clear. Okay, okay, so let me let me go back with you and I'm going to teach you. And take a look at the chat, please. Okay. We have this first word, O F F. You pronounce it like that. Off. Okay? Off. But if you do have the word that we're looking right now, which is O F only with one F, you do not pronounce it off. You pronounce it like this. Of. Oh. Of, oh, of, oh, the pronunciation is oh, different. Mm -hmm. oh, and if you would like to join oh, it, you put oh, lot of, lot of, right? Oh, lot of. Mm -hmm. oh, so we can repeat after me. It is important to drink lots of water. Okay? It is One, important to drink lots of water. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important, it is important to drink lots of water. And Nielsen, I want to hear you. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important to drink lots of water. I want to hear you, only you, Nielsen. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important. I, I cannot hear you. Can you please say it one more time, Nielsen? It is important to drink lots of water. Very good, lots of water, excellent. Lots you can water. say water, you can say water, right? Water. Ah, that's okay, that's okay. You can pronounce it in American way, you can pronounce it in a British way. You said, oh, it is important to drink a lot of water, you know? A lot of water, a lot of water, yeah. A lot of waters. Or you can say, it is important to drink a lot of water. You know, you can, you can be American, you can be British, either or one of me. That's good. All right, very good. Okay, very good, guys. So you have learned another expression. It is helpful. It is important. Okay, now take a look at the third expression. Okay, let me go back. Let me go back, guys. Oh, wait a minute. I have to I have to share right now my screen with you. <laughs> I the teacher always forget. Teacher, I'm uh, sorry, Marlon, but the teacher is not a technology girl. Okay, me apologize. Yes, I'm not a technology girl. Well, I, I am, but I'm not. 
I'm getting old. That's the reason. Okay. Okay. It really works. There you go. Okay. So we already have seen that one. That one. And what about the last one? Take a look, guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's practice. It is a good idea. It is, it a, is good a good idea. idea. It is a good idea to take. It is a good idea to take. It is a good idea to take cough drops. It is a good idea to take cough drops. Okay, it is a good idea to take cough drops. It's a good idea. No idea. No idea. 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 It is a good idea to take cough drops. Idea to take cough drops. Idea to take cough drops. Very good. Okay, so let's repeat, guys, the three expressions. Okay, and then you're going to repeat it by your own. But let's repeat it together one more time. The first one. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Can I? Can you please say it? Helpful to go to the doctor. Very good. It is important to drink lots of water. It is important, it is important, important to drink, drink lots of water. 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 Ah, I, hey, what happened with the, the lot of water? One more time. Lots of water. To drink lots of water. It is important to drink lots of water. Very good. It is a good idea to take cough drops. Very good. Okay, guys. So now it's going to be your turn. You alone. Everybody together. The first expression, please. Okay, let me listen to you. Ah, no, 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 no. Everybody. One, two, three, go. It is important to drink lots of water. Okay, the last one. It is a good idea to take cough drops. All right. Okay, so I'm going to do something right now. Okay, let me do something really quickly. And we're going to do something. We're going to play memory games, guys. Okay, memory games. That would be really nice. Okay, so let's play memory games. Teacher, you're crazy. Yes, I know. Okay, very good. Okay, all right. And volunteer, big team, sorry, volunteer. Okay, Marlon, can I have the first one, please? The first expression. It is helpful to go to the doctor. All right, very good. The second expression, please, Wilfredo. <laughs> Hurry up! I, I don't remember. I am eh, 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 sorry. You're out of the game. Okay, Linda. Linda. Yes. Go ahead. It is important to drink lot of lot of lot of water. Very good, excellent. The last one, please, Ricardo. Uh huh. Do you remember? It is a good idea to take an off drop. Very good. Oh my God. You are such amazing guys. Excellent. <laughs> you see, we practice a pronunciation, right? You see, we practice is fitness. It's fitness, okay? That was part of the Coffee process. And, and notebook. Coffee and notebook. Okay, Maria, that's a good one. Okay, <laughs> so let me give you one symptom. You like it, you like it, right? When you will practice, we're putting part of the sentence and then we do it together. Say it one more time with me. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Say it, please. It's helpful to go to the doctor. No, everybody, please. It is helpful to go to the doctor. Again, it is helpful to go to the doctor. It is helpful to go to the doctor. All right. It is important to drink a lot of water. It is important to drink lots of water. It's it's important important to drink water. Water. You can do it, Caesar. It is a good idea to take cough drops. It's a good idea to take idea cough, drops. Idea. cough drops. Somebody said idea, and that's it. No way. It is a good idea to take cough drops. Go ahead. It is a good idea to take cough drops. I know. You see, but it's really nice. You see, we're learning not to spread like robot. It is a good idea to take some cough drops. No, right? No way. It is a good idea to take some cough drops, right? It is important to drink a lot of water. No way. No. 
We need to sound more natural, more fluently. It is important to drink a lot of water, right? That's what we do in this pronunciation exercise. We're going group by group, and then we join it together so we can pronounce it in one way, okay? So this is, this is part of pronouncing and a speaking process, guys. This is a technique, okay? And the last one, it is helpful to go to the doctor. And, and also, guys, you need to put, like, intonation, okay? Hey, I have a cold. Imagínese que alguien le dice, I have a cold. I tengo resfriado. Y tú dices, it is important to go to the doctor. Can you imagine with that intonation? It is important to go to the doctor. Es importante ir al doctor. Pero con ese tono of voice, usted le está diciendo, mira, no me importa que tú tienes cold. Anda al doctor, baby. That's it, right? <laughs> Come on. So you have to use the correct intonation, right? For example, yeah. You said it is important to drink lots of water. See? If you if you have a flu, you have a fever, tienes fiebre? It's important to drink lots of water. It's important que tú tomes mucha agua, si no te vas a deshidratar, right? Entonces, imagínese, ¿qué intonación te tiene que usar? It is important to drink a lot of water. Uh, uh, it is important to drink a lot of water. And you said, it is important to drink a lot of water. Mira la intonación, that means you care about somebody, okay? O se le importa lo que le están diciendo. But if you have a tone of voice like, Whatever, no me importa si tenés flu o okay? qué. Huh? Yo, como yo me siento bien, that's good. No way. Okay, so it's really important not only to pronounce it correctly, guys, but also to provide the correct intonation. Okay, ¿se recuerdan la pregunta que estábamos aprendiendo? Cuando, ¿cómo decir qué le, qué le recomiendan a uno cuando uno tiene una enfermedad? ¿Se recuerdan cuál era la pregunta? Do you remember? What should, I take what should I take for? Okay. What should I take for? Ya aprendimos cold. ¿Qué otra, qué otra common health hemos aprendido? What other common health we have learned? Stomachache. Stomachache. Okay. okay. Very good idea. Very good idea. Stomachache. Okay. Pongamos esa pregunta con stomachache. ¿Cómo sería? Mm -hmm. what, what should? should I what should I take for a stomachache? Very good. What should I take for a stomachache? Okay, guys. Now you know how to give advice. You can say it is helpful, it is important, or it's a good idea. And remember, after that expression, you need to use the infinitive. It is important to. It is important to drink. It is important to visit. It is important to take. Okay. So any, any advice, please? Marlon, go ahead. Thank you. It is important to take antiacid. Very good. Another advice, please, Hermes. It's important to drink medicine. Okay, very good. Uh, Linda, another advice, please. Um, it is important to chamomile tea. Okay, very good. Uh, Luis, another one, please. Mm -hmm. Luis? Hi, teacher. Hi. And any other advice about stomachache? Okay. Important to. Yeah. I cannot hear you, sorry. To drink. Mm -hmm. it, it is important to drink. Uh, how do you say? Uh, yeah. To drink what? Uh, uh, what do you say? I don't know. You tell me. Uh, elixir. Elixir. It could be like an antiacid. It's an antiacid. Ah, okay. Important okay. Antiacid. Very good. Exactly. Another suggestion, uh, Abigail? Um... You should... No, you should know. Remember, it is important, it is helpful, or it's a good idea. Um, it is helpful um, go to the doctor. It is helpful go to the doctor or to go to the doctor? 
to go to the doctor. Very good, Abigail. Remember that we're using infinitives, okay? Very good, excellent. Excellent job, Abigail. Very good. What about you, Flori? I don't know. You don't know? Come on. Is a good idea to drink a lot, a lot of water. Okay, very good. A Excellent. A lot of water or a lot of water. Okay, very good. All right. Edna Nielsen. Hi, Edna Nielsen. How are you? It is. No, wait a minute. Let me ask you I'm something. Fine. Okay. Give me another common health problem. We already have seen cold. Mm -hmm. And we already have sick a stomach age. Any other health problem? It is... No. Tell me. Tell me the question. Remember the question that we're practicing? ¿Cómo se pregunta? <laughs> ¿Qué debo tomar para? What? Guys? Help, Edna Nielsen? What should I take for? What should I take for? Very good, Ricardo. So, and Elisa, repeat it, please. What should I take for? What is the shelter? No, what should I take for? What is you chew? No, listen carefully. Take. What? What? Should I? Should I? Take for? Take for. Muy bien, very good. And give me a common health problem. Ya vimos cold, ya vimos stomach age. ¿Qué otro health problem o problema de salud? Herpes. Mm -hmm. Flu. Flu. Very good. Okay. Okay, Ada Nielsen. Okay. So repeat after me. What should I take for flu? Repeat after me, please. Okay. What should I take? What I, what should I take? Very good for 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 flu. For flu. Very good. Okay, so remember question intonation, Anna Nielsen. What should I take for flu? Because you're asking for something. Okay, repeat after me. What should I take for okay. flu? What I. What should what I take should I for flu? Take for flu. Very good, excellent. What okay, guys. I take for flu. Excellent, guys. What would be the advice that you can give to Ellen Nielsen? Go ahead, Marlon. You should to wear a face mask you because should. we don't know what kind of flu you do you have. Uh huh. Excellent job. Another advice, Wilfredo. Um, uh, it's important to drink a lot of water. Very good, excellent. Another advice, Caesar. Caesar, I cannot hear you. Uh huh. Another advice. Otro consejo, another advice about the flu. Take what? You should take some pills, maybe? Okay, very good, excellent. Another advice, Maria Luisa? Um, it is important to drink um, lemon tea. Very good, food. excellent, lemon tea. Very good. Tea. Mm, another advice, Idalia? I think Idalia is not here. What about you, Ceci? Oh, yes, Idalia is here. Should, what should I take for a fever? For a fever? No, we're talking about right now flu, Idalia. So I want you to give an advice about <gasps> flu. Yes, flu. And you should. Um, you can use you should, but, take, you, but also you, you can should. use. Uh, you can use it's important too. It is helpful or it's a you good should. idea. Uh -huh. You should um a lot of water. Okay. It is important to drink a lot of water. Any other advice, Erika? It is a good idea to take the coronavirus exam. Very good. Excellent job. Amazing. All righty. Uh, I want another common health problem. Hermes. 
Another common health problem, please. Um, what, I, what should I take for stomach? No, they already say that. Come on, another one. Yeah. What I should I take for package? For backage? Okay, what should I take for a backage? Okay, guys, any advice? Let me start with you, Linda. Um, sorry. Uh, a backage. Uh, okay. A, yes, backage, yes. It helpful. It is helpful. To mm -hmm. applique. Uh-huh. To apply to apply a cream, a sport okay. cream. Is sport cream or muscle? Muscle, muscle guys. Cream, cream. Muscle, cream. muscle cream. Very good, cream. excellent. Okay, any other advice for that, um, Juliana Ramos? Uh, what do you mean, boxes? Excuse me. Back, oh, um, sorry, repeat the question. Yeah, okay, okay. she's asking about package, package, dolor de espalda, that package. Ah, uh, okay. Um, it is a good idea to take uh, rest. To take some rest, very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. Actually, yes, you're right about that. I have a package problems because of my job, and that helps me out. Nothing. Yes. Definitely. Very good. Teacher. Yes. How do you say uh, que le den un masaje? Ah, to give you a massage. Give. A massage, yes. Or to, or, to, or to ask somebody to give you a massage. You could say it in many words, in many ways. Very good. And the last one, Herman Ramos. How are you, sir? I'm nice. Hey, I'm not. It's nice to listen to you. Okay, tell me, there another health common problem that you can think about? We already talked about cold, flu, stomach ache, and back problem. We're missing. Another health problem, please. Uh, what should I? What should I take? Yes. For insomnia. For insomnia. Hey, that's a good one. Very good. Okay, thank you so much, Ricardo. What should I take for insomnia? Give me some advice. Uh, it is important to drink a tea or um, manzanilla. How do you say manzanilla in English, guys? How do you say Manila. it? I don't ah, no, 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 no. That's the way that you write it, but how you pronounce it? Come on, Erica. Uh. <laughs> yes, you have an idea. Very good. Chamomile. 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 Manzanilla. Chamomile. Oh. Very good. So, say it one more time, Ricardi. Cinnamon, cinnamon and canela. <laughs> but you said chamomile, you say manzanilla. Yeah, okay, so give me the advice once again, Ricardo, please. Once again, your advice. It is important to drink chamomile tea. Very good, excellent. Yeah, you learned a new word, as Marlon said. You learned a new word. Congratulations! Thanks. Excellent. Woohoo! Way to go! Excellent. All right, Thank another you. advice. Thank you. Another advice, Victor. Victor Palacios. Hi, man. Another Hi. advice, please. Okay. Uh, it's, it is important to ring a uh, lighten tear. To read a what? L light in tear. Oh, to, to, ah, Kilo. okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely it is. Very good. And the last but no least, uh, 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 Grecia, give me one advice, please. I don't help her, please. Ha, ha. Oh, well, it's important to. I don't know. For insomnia. To Watch TV, to... you will let me know. No, it's important to. <laughs> I, I don't know. How would it 
Contar ovejas. How do you say counting chips? <laughs> it's important counting sheep. It's important. <laughs> it's important counting sheep or it's important oh. to counting sheep? No, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. To, to count, count chips. Count chips. Excellent yeah. job. Very good. Congratulations, guys. Now, guys, you will be able to give advice, okay? Every time that somebody asks you about health problems, you will can use infinitives, right? Compliments, uh, complaints, or, or compliments in this case, to provide advice, okay? Very good. Guys, any questions? Any doubts by any chance? Any doubts? Any questions? No? No? Everything no, is clear no. like water no. or chata? Like or chata. Like or chata. Come on. Who said that? Hmm. 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 Tomorrow, Hermes will give the class. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> and Marlon's like, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just kidding. Don't worry. Okay. He's awake right now. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Hermes. Uh, I just want to make you laugh. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm so happy to see you once again. Oh my goodness. Time passed really fast. We're already 10.03. That's amazing. You see? Yeah. Time yeah. passed really fast, and we have learned a lot of things, okay? Hopefully, you can put it in practice in your daily basis, okay? Please, study hard. Any questions, I will be more than glad to help you. Any doubts or any difficulties that you have with the platform, please also let me know, okay? I will be more than glad to give you a hand, right? So hugs right. and kisses. Right. Have a great day and great meal, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.